let's discuss about isotactic polymers substituents where if they are lying on the same side of the carbon chain then they will be called as the isotactic for example if uh, if a, if a particular group of compounds say in in in, a, in this example if i am considering the r groups we said they're lying on the, on the same side of the of the of the, of the carbon chain so here if you observe the all the r groups are lying on the on the downward so that means they are lying on the same side or that is lying on the lying towards your eye so hence substituents are on the same side and if substituents at the very alternating carbon if lying on the same side then it will be called as the isotactic since at the at position number here the uh, the ch2 groups is here ch2 groups is here so there is a plan of symmetries exists and hence they are the meso meso particularly they will be meso so if you observe a example here so this is the part where this group the part 1 part 2 part 3 these are all are on a on a symmetrical order and and in a in a particular direction and if such carbon chains are existed then this one will be called as the isotactic is it all right what is some of the few points that is uh, all about the isotactic chain is all about here the substituents are on the same side of the carbon chain substituents will be always lying on the, on the same side of the carbon chain and as i have already mentioned that the methylene groups of hydrogen so are always meso and it's helix says to minimize the substituent interactions and then uh, all the asymmetric carbon have the same configuration on the, the same sides since uh, like there this one here it is the same sucks are sucks are representation so same side they will be, they will having the same conformations and these are the semi crystalline solids these are all the semi crystalline solids their boiling point generally observed that melting point boiling point etc will be the very high higher order higher range and these are the these are the polymers which are frequently prepared by the, the ziegler natta catalyst that is the titanium tetrachloride and ethyl aluminum the ethyl triethyl aluminum so let's proceed to next thing diatetic uh here uh, all the substituents are present at the alternating uh, position uh, after each 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 carbon atom lying in the uh, each and every alternate carbon so here if you observe there if the one r groups is lying downward another one will be upward so here it is the dotted line and this one is dash and if if a bone order is represented in the in this face this fashions it actually represent towards the eye it represent towards towards your eye towards your eye that is uh, from the if i if i consider the laptop or the mobile screen as if as if plan as a plan where the carbon chain is lying then it, then it will be it will be up from the from the from the face of the laptop or the mobile and the, if it is dotted line is represent if it is dotted line is represent in the, the dotted line is there then it actually represent below the plane it will be represent the below the plane okay below the plane so that means it is from yeah um, it, it it will be away from your eyes okay so this is the part and here if you observe if one is one is to up one will be down this one is up this one will be down up down up down so the procedure the process is 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 the is the polymer in which the one if it is one is in the left hand side another one will be the on the right hand side then again it will be left then right then again it will be left and accordingly it will be proceed so such types of polymer will be called as the syndiotic so substituent that where the substituent in which alternating pattern of the carbon chain is there and then there are there or that is the zigzag conformations then this will be called as the syndiotic uh, polymers so what are the basics and the main postulates of syndiotic so here all the substituents present in an alternating pattern of the carbon chain and they are always racemic 
they are always the day will be always in racemic forms of decimic forms so undoubtedly there will be racemic sense of one if one is optical active another one will be definitely optical inactive if say downward is an optical active one then the up one will be always optical inactive so that's hence if inversions retains and these are these will be cancelled out and hence these such types of polymer such types of polymer will be always racemic polymers so here all the patients will be zigzag zigzag means up down up down up down okay zigzag motion is like that here the asymmetric carbon hand alternating pattern uh, although they are the crystalline polymers uh, they have better impact strength than the uh, isotactic isotactic since they are lying on the same side so hence they will not be having the same effective force or the strength like uh, like the synthetic so next one will be uh, next one uh, the third topic is the ataktic and where the substituents are arranged that in the random manner that is they were they are disorderly arranged whatever it, it, it is in your mind or what is where it will be it is accordingly uh, accordingly exists like that so if 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 this one is up this one is uh, the this one is uh, say down this one will be down again and uh, here it is down here these two are the down if you observe observe there is a no specific order is there no specific order no specific order if if uh, at the very beginning up then down up down up up down down so these are the random sudden sudden changes will be there so sap sites of uh, polymer will be called as the ataktic and these are all a random manner okay so here it is the same uh, here is the one of the examples where phenyl ring is uh, is uh, is in the different form it is not in a particular or specific order there is, there is no regular order regular order will not be maintained so this is called ataptic types of polymer so this is the simple definitions for for the these three uh, let's uh, study about that they are the differences and uh, all uh, let's summary it out so all the, the earlier two other other crystalline while ataptic is an amorphous uh, polymer these are very soft rubbery amorphous relatively weak low density low tensile strength high degree of feasibility flexibility sorry flexibility will be there okay so here is the summary okay just just take a screenshot of this last slide yeah where i just included all the necessary point for isotactic syndiatic and ataptic thank you for attending the today's class thank you all